Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Peril Daily Culture and we will tell you the story, very pandemic story, how to become an artist. Here with me is Evelina Vasiluk. Thank you very much for this invitation. Thank you for coming. Hello to everyone. And we are in the in, in a play, in an old factory actually in the middle of Warsaw when just yesterday you had your first exhibition of painting. Yes. But you are not a painter since forever, but you started very recently. Tell us this incredible story. So my adventure with painting started one and a half year ago during pandemic. And this first lockdown helped me a lot because I had more spare time for myself and for my activities. And I was wondering what can I do? How can I spend my time? And I decided to renovate my apartment first. So you re redecorated it, yes. Yes. repainted it. Yes, this. yes, 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 yes. And my walls were completely empty, so... Yeah, something was missing, like something colorful with good energy. So I decided to paint it by myself. And I talked to myself that, Evelina, it's not that hard to paint abstraction. So maybe let's start with it. So I bought canvas, all brushes, paints and started painting. And after I painted two paintings, my friend saw it and she said, oh, wow, Evelina, it's, they are so great, like publish them somewhere, like on Facebook on Insta or Instagram. And actually I did it. And after it, uh, like many people send me such positive comments and that it's amazing, so colorful, so like a nice technique and so on. And it was so encouraging for me for other steps. As a child, I was always had a great imagination. And I remember I used to read lots of books and to every book I was drawing some illustration or something like that. But you didn't go this direction. You end up in finances. Yes, yes. yes. To be an artist, I always thought that you need to be very good, like great actually, so you can live from uh, painting, but... But now it happened that actually you, yes. you have a huge financial success in yes. painting. Yeah. So you started to sell those. And how did it all look like? How did you like convince yourself that is a good path for you to choose? Because at the, at the very beginning of my painting, uh, after uh, painting these two uh, pieces uh, to my living room, uh, I remember that evening I said to myself, okay, let's uh, paint one painting. And uh, it was very dark one. And I said to God, like, God, if, I, if I'm gonna sell this painting, it's uh, this direction which I mean to go. So, and next day after publishing it on Facebook, like this guy from Brussels uh, wrote me like, I want uh, this painting so bad, so please send it to me. And then I said, oh God, it's for sure, it's a co coincidence. So let's try with another one. Uh, so another evening, I painted another one and I said, oh God, but if this one, if I sell this one, this is the right direction for me. And I sold it to Tel Aviv and, was, and I said to God, oh, okay, God, now it's not a coincidence. It's, it's your touch. Tell me uh, how many paintings you, you exhibited yesterday? On my exhibition, I exhibited around 35 paintings. Title of uh, this exhibition wa was uh, Let's Love Life. Because as we know, like life is so uh, precious and we should appreciate it and be grateful every day. So my paintings are connected with uh, different situations in life, emotions, uh, some dreams of mine. I but they are the all very colorful in a way that uh, they mostly so. First of all, they are pretty. Tell us a little bit in few words how you work on, on this art. Yes, they are colorful because my personality, I think, is uh, very colorful. Through these colors, I want to bring joy to my audience, to customers. So if everybody will put it on the wall, it will bring good energy. And that's why these colors. And this acryl on the canvas, that's, yes. what, that's how you paint. So you don't need to wait also such a long time with oil. I guess oil will be much yes, more difficult. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I chose uh, acrylic paints because because of time of waiting. I'm so impatient, so I want to finish everything uh, very fast. But I'm inspired, so 
yeah, this is a perfect me uh, medium for medium for me for do this to do this to do yeah, the painting. This. And yesterday, um, there was also an auction, and uh, one of your paintings was sold for twenty thousand zlotys, which will actually go to a charity. An auction for a small child, a 12-year-old cat's bed, who is a small boy with a problem, like a splitted spine, basically. Yes. It's a kind of form yes. of illness. Yes. And his yes. parents are struggling and fighting for him since the very beginning of yes. his life. He was yesterday in here with his parents as well, and he's such a nice kid and smiling and like... Really, like, amazing boy. And you have in your hands a very special painting because uh, those are not only flowers but pieces because it looks like this. Yes. But there is a story behind this painting. Tell us in a few words, uh, what did you plan to do with it? As you know, I had an exhibition yesterday and one of my partner is a company who's producing shoes for kids. And we, we had these projects uh, that I design uh, a graphic for shoes for kids. And from here, this is material uh, which is used for making shoes so they can cut it uh, and make uh, custom shoes for the baby. One thing which I kind of in many of your paintings is a tiger. What is with a tiger? <laughs> Actually, at the beginning, like it started because I've got a cat, a Ginger. So when I started painting, I uh, talked to him and said, Ginger, you're going to be, be with me on every painting. So when I painted, I was always painting me with him in our journey in life. And this is one reason. And the other is I uh, used to paint uh, tigers or leopards because they are very individualistic or Creatures, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 and uh, very independent. Uh, they live alone so as me, so I'm very in, like more introvert. So and I love to stay alone. So they are much to me. Is your home full of your own paintings? Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> but every time when I paint something which I like a lot and put it on my wall, someone wants to buy it. So I sell it and need to paint another one. Well, to which countries did you manage to sell your paintings so far? Uh, Belgium, Israel, France, Switzerland, Italy, Spain, Germany. So uh, you really have an international success already. Yes. More than 70 paintings sold during the one year. Yes. Yes. It's, I would say it would be a success for any artist, especially for a freshly newborn one. So yes. congratulations for Thank that. Thank you very much. And if any of the viewers of Poland Daily would like to uh, join or like uh, um, or order a painting from you or buy anything, how can they find you? They can fi find me on Facebook, Evelina Vasiluk, or on is Instagram also Evelina Bashim. So you, you're selling basically for social media most of your paintings yes. and yes. Uh, this is the way how, how you do it. Then so you have no problems with basically pushing art into everyday life yes. and into, into commercial world and not only um, as their I mean, meaning of basically hanging on a wall. Yes. Always, I mean, art is always a sign and direction to something transcendent, I would say. We watch art in, as a sign that there is something more there. The beauty shows us there is something divine. And you underline it very strongly that your gift is a gift from God, yes? Yes, yes, exactly. So you believe that God gave you this, this energy and this power to, to fulfill this kind of career? Because everything happened like miracle, like suddenly, like from heaven. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful end up line and the punchline. You can see that when you wait long enough, some things can happen like a miracle for heaven. That's what happened to Evelina Vasiluk because she just, uh, just wanted to, as a hobby, to paint her own appointment. And she ended up in one year selling 70 pieces of art. We will see and watch how she will do in another year. But watch yourself and maybe you will also like the paintings of Evelina. And thank you very much for watching Berlin Daily Culture.